Today we are getting a look at the second half of Surging Sparks. Now this is from Poke Beach and this is from the Japanese set, Supercharged Breaker. So if you guys aren't familiar, for this set they're taking two sets and putting them together for our one English set. Now we hadn't seen any cards from Supercharged Breaker for the Surging Sparks at all yet. We knew it was going to be Pikachu oriented, we already knew that. So now we're getting our first look. And starting off with this Pikachu EX, here's the lesser um, EX card. Also, competitively, this looks like um, this might have some interesting play. Uh, it says if this Pokemon has full HP and would be knocked out by an attack, it isn't knocked out, and its remaining HP becomes 10 instead. So it kind of gets almost two lives, so that's kind of interesting. But here is the main card we want to take a look at. Now, this is not the big card that we were wanting for. This is not the the special illustration rare. This is kind of like um, the Lapras from Stellar Crown or Stellar Miracle. So we are still waiting, but I really like seeing Pikachu with the crown and the rainbow borders. It's doing something for me, so I'm pretty stoked. We'll also take a look at some of the other cards from the set, and we'll see you know, what um, potential other you know IRs or SIRs we might get based off the basic Pokemon in this set. So first up we have Magnemite and Magneton here in Magnezone. I'll try and we don't really need to blow these up for you guys I don't think. I'll, I'll blow up some of them. Um, Terrapagos is in this set as well. It's a basic card so that is cool. Um, we got a trainer card here. We got a technical machine TM. Amped Amphitheater, Gravity Mountain, Miracle Intercom. So these are, so we don't really know too many of the Pokemon. It's pretty much just Terrapagos and Magnemite. So that'll be interesting. We know that Magnemite, or Magneton, excuse me, has the, um, that really cool card for, from the uh, Elite Trainer box. So this is a little interesting here, we're going to take a look at some of the other upcoming releases. Um, this is for uh, Japanese. November 22nd, they get EX Starter Deck, starter deck Generations. Um, okay, that's nine decks. And that doesn't seem too interesting, but December 6th, this is interesting. So we knew that this Terrestrial um, Festival was coming out, and this is an EV set, an EV evolution. So this will be their high class pack set December 6th then so that could be spicy depending on what we get from the evolutions and everything could be crazy but this is kind of where it starts to get crazy to me um, January 24th battle partners which is the owner's card so like the Blaine's Charizard kind of in that style that's what's looking interesting to me then we have the Glory of Team Rocket, which has no release date, but they're saying likely features Rocket's Mewtwo EX. Then we have some Black and White and Heat Wave Arena. So the latter half looking, not the latter half, sorry. The, well, yeah, I guess the end of this year, the latter half of the Scarlet and Violet era looks potentially insane. Then I also wanted to touch on this. This is some other news that broke today. This is... Uh, if you are familiar with the channel, we touched on, they had an illustration contest, and three of the winners have been announced. We uh, showed a lot of these cards, I don't know, it was a while back, but so they got the $5,000 grand prize winner, $3,000 um, standard card winner, and $3,000 best EX card um, winners. So th this was, I remember seeing this for Alligator. And this, uh, I actually remember seeing all of these, but these are the winners and these will become Pokemon cards. So we have this absolutely adorable Pikachu. I remember seeing this uh, very prominently because I thought it was super adorable. And the Feraligator with the Magikarps um, is very cool. I think this is going to become a normal card. And then this is the one that won for the EX. So just some more card news there. Now, this... Um, Supercharged Breaker News, Surging Sparks. What does it mean? Well, it doesn't really mean a whole lot quite yet because they haven't really 
shown us much. But what they did show us, it's it's about what you would expect. It's kind of basic, if I'm being completely honest. They're not they're holding some stuff back. And it is important to let's talk about um let's talk about surging sparks just for a second. And it's a little too early. We don't fully know anything about how the box is going to do per se because we're waiting on the rest of these cards. But what we do know is that this set is getting a lot of hype, which is very interesting. We're seeing a shift in the market where these sets are getting a little bit I wouldn't say overhyped, but just pre-hyped. And it kind of started after Twilight, Stellar Crown. Um, and then, but I'm seeing most of the hype, the comments um, for this set in particular. I've also seen on some Reddit and heard from some, uh, some other sources that they're saying that um, it was the Pokemon USA channel saying that they have a uh, wholesale program saying that this is like their most ordered box ever. So that's really what caught my attention. Um, but we'll just take a look at the booster box price real quick. Um, came out the gate. First sales were 148 and it's down to $121. We'll pull up the last solds. 119, 119, 119, 119. So that's nothing surprising at all. We'll see how that holds up because this is you know pre-release pricing um we have a long time before the set comes out so this is no, like november right so yeah 11 8 so what what's interesting to me and what will be the telltale sign is how low these booster box pre-order prices come go on tcg player and i i just don't know how low they're gonna go we will We've seen what Stellar Crown is doing, um, which we will take a look at real quick. It's not super relevant, but we will... Actually, I think I'm just typing in Stellar Crown. Um, we'll pull that up, though, just because I do think that that's interesting. So, Stellar Crown. Um, we'll zoom out a little. Okay. So, it's actually up 3% on the last month. So, same thing. You see where it came out, although these pre-order prices weren't even as high as what we're seeing for surging sparks and it came down to dipped right here to 105 and it's holding around we'll just call it around the 110 last sales around 109 109 so my point being of why i'm bringing up this information is it seems like for the most part Surging Sparks is regarded as the better set by quite a lot by the community. I'm not saying that that's necessarily my perspective. I did think it has more potential to be better, um, I, but I do like Stellar quite a lot, personally. But if the community, if the market is thinking that Surging is going to be the next hottest thing, and we see some of the potential order numbers that people are talking about, it's it's possible that this box doesn't drop a whole lot. I'm not trying to. I know it sounds like maybe I'm trying to create like some FOMO. I'm not. I'm just trying to make you guys aware of that, and that is why I kind of changed my ordering perspective, my pre-ordering. I don't. I don't wait. I used to wait until the sets came out, wait for them to drop. It kind of seems like those days are behind us, and a lot of the times you'll fudge over the numbers of. Um, like a hundred dollars a box or 97 and people are like, Oh, I'm going to hold out and they're going to miss out potentially because we just don't, we don't know the print, the print run, the print size of surging. And there's, it's just going to be very, we're it's just in a very interesting time after twilight, things just really change. So surging sparks, I have my eye on it. Um, I cannot wait to start ripping into it. I cannot wait to see the rest of the cards. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. A little shorter video. Um, just wanted to show you those new cards, get that information out there, and kind of just give my thoughts on the set. Um, it's too early to judge 
the supercharged breaker aspect. We haven't seen enough, but uh, I am very excited. And that is going to do it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.